What if I told you that every PLA print hides a shiny surface just waiting to come out? I recently got into traditional shaving and wanted to make my own brush. After some research, I chose the G5 synthetic knot. Now that we have the knot, let's move on to designing the handle. I don't like having shaving soap on my hand, so I went for a long handle design. So let's jump into Fusion. You can see how I used a spline to make the contour of the brush. When modeling with splines, aim to achieve the desired shape using the fewest contour points necessary. This helps reduce complexity and maintain a smooth and continuous curve. In this case, I use only 5 contour points, as you can see. Having a 25mm knot, we have to make the knot hole oversized so that the glue can fill the gap and create a strong bond. I also added those ridges to create some surfaces to let the glue hold on better. On the bottom of the handle you can see how we have a fillet that needs to be printed upside down. As you may know, printing fillets upside down is a no-go because they cause melting on the first steep layers. We can solve this issue by creating a fillet, creating a sketch on the mid plane, projecting a fillet and making a 40 degrees line tangent to the fillet. This is the critical overhang that will melt. We can avoid that by revolving the area between the line we make and the ground line. The final result is something very similar to a fillet, but printable. A shaving brush needs to be stored upside down to dry correctly. I wanted an easy way to store my brush upside down, so I went with a square nadimium magnet. I made a pocket inside the model where the magnet will be placed. By posing the print, I can glue it in place and there is isn't printing. The last important thing is making an undersized hole on the central axis of the object. This will enable us to screw the handle on an M6 threaded rod so that we can mount the handle on a drill press to tackle the polishing process. The polishing process was made by following the battery 3D polishing process. I suggest you to check it because this gave a really good finish to the piece. I started with a rougher sandpaper and went up to a 5000 grit sandpaper. Then I applied a polishing product to seal and shine the surface. Now we have our finished shiny handle and we can proceed to glue the knot using transparent epoxy.